friends, once again, it's time for a fantasy football update. In the past two weeks, we've seen changes of very inconsequential types. Dropping a Mason Crosby, dropping a Marlon Mack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real small moves. And because of that, and because of the lack of trades that I begged you for, there's been no real movement in the standings since we last checked in. First place still is Kali Lili 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 Long. La Lili Long. Kali Long. Kali. Kali Long. Li Long. Kali Long. And also in first place in his respective division is the guy that no one's ever met, that no one knows, Billy Firefighter. So that's great and good for the league um, to have a guy whose name we can't say and a guy who may or may not actually exist be the tops of our leagues. But fear not, because there is hope. The middle of the league is stacked with mediocrity. And if only a few trades might happen, there might be a mid-season chase to change the alignment in the divisions. Get ready for this next bit of news. I think you're gonna hate it. As per the decision by the executive board of the ST Fantasy Football League of Austin, week eight of our Fantasy League season, okay? Week 8 of our fantasy football season will hereby be known as Rivalry Week. Get excited about your rival and how you will defeat them. What rivalries are there? Glasses off to take the flare away from the screen. First Rivalry Week matchup, Rob Rinders versus Josh Malden in the battle of whose kid is most mediocre at youth soccer. Matchup number two for Rivalry Week is the battle of the Christophers. Chris Pavela versus Chris. Don't put me in those polls anymore. Which Chris is the most Chris for this Christmas? Find out, we gate the third matchup for Rivalry Week. It's a stunner. I bet they didn't even know they were rivals. For Brian Navarro will face off against Kali'i Aleong in the battle of guys who have little kids. Watch it. The next matchup will be a doozy. You see, it's Weston Moore versus the commissioner in a New York Yankees Boston Red Sox head to head matchup, but with fantasy football players from neither of those teams. This is for blood and honor. And in what might not be a real fantasy football game, Adam Aronoff of the North faces off against the probably not real Billy Burnett, firefighter of Buckeye. That's a rivalry because I know Adam exists, but I'm not sure that Billy does. We'll have to watch to find out. Finally, wrapping up. The coup d'etat of Rivalry Week is Kinsey Raw versus Jamie Schwartz Smaltz Schwartz Smaltz Grimmers Schwartz Smaltz or Grimmers sir. In the battle of people whose favorite team's mascots are birds but not the same kind. 
Eagles, Cardinals will fight. This is my warning to you. Rivalry week will be full of rivalry. I encourage you to build smack talk, to make your own videos, post them in your own social media or here on the homepage. Let's light it up. I'd even like to get a watch party for that week going, so keep an eye out for that. I'd like to take a break right now and mention one of the sponsors of this evening's video, beer. Not just any beer, local beer. As a matter of fact, tonight I'm enjoying a big guy rye from Wilderness Brewing Company. It's a double IPA brew with rye. It's the older brother of the little guy rye. It's tasty. It's yummers. A new poll is up. I encourage you, no, I expect you as active participants in this league to go and vote on it. Yes, that's right, a new poll. Go do it. Be civically minded and go vote in that poll. It's the only one I can think of that you'd really be important for you to vote in in any time in the near future. Updates on awards. We may have had our blowout of the season already. We may have also had our top scoring single game of the season. And we may have already had our lowest scoring team of the season. Things are starting to pile up. Bye weeks are starting to pile up. What's happening with your team? Do you know? When's the last time you looked? This is very important. We're midway through the season. If you're not watching your team, and if you're not checking in on Tuesday mornings and Thursday mornings to make sure your lineups are ready and your waiver claims came through, then you are doing a bad job at fantasy football. Bad job. Bad. One last thing before we go from this video. All of the groups and organizations and fantasy teams that are a part of the big umbrella that we call social thread uh, are asked to create a kindness project. Uh, it doesn't have to be a big deal and we don't have to break our backs but I would love to see uh, ideas. If it's a small donation we can give to something, if there's a volunteer opportunity I'd like to see if someone in this fantasy league has an idea of a way that we can give back to the community while we're still in this fantasy football season. Uh, if you have one reach out to me let me know and if I get a couple, we'll bring them together, find the interest, and we'll figure out how we can best help that organization. For all the fun we have, we do think it's important that we do some real legit kindness in the universe. Thank you for also believing that. Now, back to this ridiculousness. I close with a story. Why you no trade? Breaking news that isn't breaking but should be mentioned before I stop this video. This Sunday, in two days, Friday, Saturday, then Sunday, it's three words, but two days, the league is getting together to watch the Sunday night football game. We're going to meet at Scottsdale Beer Company at 5 o'clock. You got to be there, man. You're going to miss out if you don't. Please, if you are, or if you're going to squirrel your way out of it, let me know either way so I can go in there and ask for the right amount of tables. By the way, it doesn't have to just be you. Family members, friends, strangers off the street, bring who you'd like. Just let me know how many you're bringing. ASAP, ASAP. Thank you. I got the whole block wishing they could run with my division, but they gone fishing with no bait. Kid, your boy, hold weight. I got my soul straight. I brush your mouth like cold gate. In any weather, I'm never.